Hi guys, uh, I'm Dennis. Welcome to my channel, Guy with a Plant. In today's episode, I'm going to uh, give some of my climbing house plants a pole, and in a particular case, a plank, a, a wooden plank. Uh, so if you enjoy watching contents like that, uh, I hope you can watch to the end of the video. That will really help the channel a lot. And also to subscribe if you have been watching and enjoying it and not subscribed yet, uh, do hit the red button. Uh, yeah, and also the notification button as well. So um, let's look at some plants. Okay, the first plant I'm going to pull up is this uh, Philodendron Splendid. Uh, this is a hybrid between Philodendron Veracusum and Philodendron Melanochrysum. Uh, I got this as a two leaf cutting. Uh, this is one of the original leaves uh, as well as uh, this one. They are still both around, uh, which is good. Uh, the new leaf that unfurled under my care is horrible. Uh, I think it's probably due to some watering or humidity issues. But the next one, next new leaf it gave me is pretty big. In fact, it's the biggest so far. So that's good. And uh, yeah, there's another new leaf that is unfurling at the moment. Can you see the red back of the varicosum that's coming through? And yeah, and there's uh, I think a new growth happening. Uh, yeah, can you see? Really tiny, but yeah, so it's uh, doing pretty well. Yeah, with all the new growth that is happening, I'm actually a little bit concerned as to whether should I be disturbing it uh, by repotting and uh, giving it a pull. Um, but I guess there's always a new leaf that is coming out. So yeah, we got to start somewhere, right? So like I mentioned, I'll try to disturb this blend it as little as possible. Um, I will probably not change the potting medium much. Maybe I'll blend in a little bit of the rewarding aeroid mix. So if you have seen my previous video on the planty stuff haul, uh, this is one of the items I bought online. Uh, it's a plastic frame of a pole with a stick at the bottom so that you can actually uh, put it into the potting medium uh, to stabilize itself. And as you can see, you can uh, actually um, use potting medium of your choice, not a potting medium, but a medium of your choice, uh, maybe sphagnum moss, uh, cocoa chips, or a mixture of uh, your preferred uh, medium, could be orchid bark. But what I'm going to use is sphagnum moss and uh, cocoa chips. I'm probably going to use back the same pot because I think this size should be enough for the its current uh, root ball. So let's take the plant out of its pot to uh, take a look. I have some sphagnum moss as a top uh, dressing to keep the humidity up a little bit. So let's remove this. Okay, we should remove the this uh, stick first. So this is the current potting medium. As you can see, there's uh, some cocoa chips inside as well, but it's really very loose uh, with a lot of perlite. I think the roots look okay. No root rot, so that's good. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to remove the excess. I, I'm trying to dis not disturb it uh, much. Okay, let me see what I can do. Oh, I should have put in the medium in first right <laughs> silly me okay let's uh, prepare the uh, sphagnum moss of some uh, sphagnum moss which i have um, put it under running water but i've squeezed out the excess 
so it is uh, damp but not sogging wet and then I have some uh, cocoa chips as well so I'm going to use a blend of this okay, I'm just going to remove half of this uh, the sphagnum moss and in this container I'm going to add in uh, some cocoa chips Yeah, I should add in more sphagnum moss. Okay, let's um, stuff the, the blend in. So this is done, uh, I tried to make sure there's no gaps in between so that you know the area roots of the plant uh, as it grows can is able to attach itself uh, onto the this um, pole. Okay I changed my mind based on this uh, root ball I think I can use a slightly bigger um, pot I think probably one and a half inch um, bigger and uh, I need something that's heavier so I'm going to use this terracotta pot um, to stabilize this so yeah um, let's mix some of the potting medium the original potting medium with uh, my aeroid mix this is the rewilding mix uh, which is uh, an aeroid mix that I buy so I'm going to mix this with uh, its uh, current potting medium um, to give it something that is uh, airy and loose. So let's go ahead and uh, mix this up. Okay, I'm going to use a piece of cocoa chip to uh, block up the drainage hole so that the potting mix will not fall out okay, just going to add a little bit and let me try to put this um, pole in Yeah, I think this is uh, just the right size. I'm just going to move it to the, the edge of the pot, the side of the pot, not in the middle. And here comes the plant. You want to make sure that the um, this part of the plant touches the pole, the moss, so that you know you can encourage the area roots to uh, attach uh, themselves on it. So the first one done. This is the philodendron splendid. Uh, I'm going to give you a drink and probably going to wet the pole. Hopefully this will give me bigger and bigger leaves. 
Okay, so guys, I realized the original video is uh, way too long. So I'm going to stop here at the first plant, which is this Philodendron Splendid. I shall uh, continue part 2 in the next video with two other plants, so do watch out for it. Uh, it should be released uh, sometime middle of next week, rather than on a Saturday. Meanwhile, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!